They, they're saying the same shit. They're saying they, they're doing nothing but they're puppets. They're puppets. They're being spoken through. The record label is speaking to black people, but in order to speak to them, you need a idiot translator. Kill yourselves. And that's what comes out. Kill yourselves. Kill yourselves. Make us money. And what comes out is, hey, run the Glock, what the side, hey, got a nigga with the motherfucking. I hate black people. Fuck a nigga, kill a nigga like a mother. Olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure, regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus, fibroid, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're going to need in the bedroom, big home. Now, to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612-567-3263. Get your shit together, big home. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. And this is, are you fucking serious? As in, <clears throat> are you surprised? Young and Ace um, and his homeboys were just murdered. Uh, Young and Ace was riding four deep. Uh, and I say they were murdered because Young and Ace I'm sure a little bit of him, you, a lot of niggas won't understand this shit. See, every day that you spend in the street, every day, believe this, every 24 hours that you spend in the street, you lose a little bit more of who you are. Um, you will notice that a, it's just kind of like, it's kinda like any other job. It depletes you. But as I've always said, the most stressful um You, you, you retain the most anxiety after you retire from this career than any other one. That career is being a criminal, a career criminal. Um, if what you do for money is criminal activities, then you are in the criminal field, which you are a career criminal. You don't have to go to jail for it, whatever. You don't have to, you know, habitual offender, which you probably will. Um... You gonna have some PTSD and shit like that, and you probably won't get that. Shit. Don't mind me. I'm just making sure that you know that that PayPal link is always in the description box. Ninety percent of communication is nonverbal. You know that I believe that shit. So, as although I love when you go in the comment section and you say, "Ah, oh, this is really shit on YouTube. Ah, oh, fuck shit is a thousand. Keep it real and all that shit like that." I appreciate that shit, but. If you really want to support the channel and you really believe the shit you're saying, fuck with the PayPal. Whether it's a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, show support. You know that you donate over twenty dollars, you have the option of getting your name or your business shouted out at the beginning of any episode of your choosing. Also, if you want one of the Big Homes AO Nation t-shirts, all you gotta do is go to the PayPal, shoot the twenty-five dollars on them, come back to the Facebook message or the Instagram, let me know you paid, tell me what size you want, and it should be at your house. After you get your address, but I think that's kind of obvious. I really don't want to say that on this fucking promo. But, you know what I'm saying? It's really simple, whatever like that. But I want you to show support. Like, you know what I'm saying? AO Nation is not about talking. It's about doing. Do the shit, be home. Diagnosed for it, you know what I'm saying? You won't get no medication, and that that's how you will never actually fit back into society, be a successful component of society, because you'll just always be on the outskirts and you gonna be just like that old skinny muscular nigga that's changing ties at the Tesco. You know what I'm saying? That's that's where you're going. You can't see like you see it every day, but you can't see that that's exactly where you're going. This has everything to do with Shut the fuck up, Aki! This has everything to do with what's going on here because it's like, okay, I'm telling you 
that every day you spend in the street, a little piece of you dies. It, I'm, this, this isn't, like I said, I'm not getting that medical, metaphysical shit because you don't, I'm, I'm talking to you. You retarded dumb niggas. Listen, every day that you're in the street, you're losing more of yourself. Like your mother, your family, they're starting to get more and more acclimated, which means they're getting used to you being in the street, which means that they are getting used to the idea of you going to prison for life or you dying. So they're letting go of you more and more. The more and more, they, they can scream and holler, oh my baby, oh my baby. But they expected that. And the next day or as soon as the, the news get out there, they'll be able to talk without crying, without even muffling. We need to stop the violence. You see a lot of these bitches, when they got them little kid dying, shit like that, from a, a murder or running from the police and shit like that, you see the bitches out there, like, they... Really, they mad that a police didn't kill them because if the police killed them, then they can get some money for it. If a nigga just killed the nigga, you know what I'm saying, then it's just, oh, Lord, y'all need to stop this goddamn violence. Let the police do it so you can get paid for it. I've been let go of the goddamn boy. I've been let go of the damn girl. She a street bitch. He a street nigga. What happens to street niggas and street bitches? They get raped and killed, and they get killed and sent to prison for life. I'm not going to be emotionally... Uh, attached to a motherfucker that can be gone in a second of any day. That don't make sense. And in in when we're living, we living day to day. Like you know what I'm saying, like I'm in the street. I don't give a fuck about Friday. The fuck I care about tonight. You know what I'm saying? This shit gonna speed up tonight. I know you know what I'm saying. She gonna jump tonight. Give a fuck about no tomorrow. Don't even, I, I'm not even looking at when I'm finna go to sleep. I'm trying to get money right now so I can go spend it right now. There's no life expectancy. I'm, I'm talking about today. This is what every, everything is today. This is everything. So, the more situations you go through, it just enhances that. So, instead of every 24 hours you lose a little bit of yourself, now, um, when this happens, when you, when you, when a, the niggas that you are with every day dies, now you lose, uh, as much as you would leave, lose in five days. So now, as Young and Ace was in the car, riding four deep, and some other niggas that was probably riding four deep, pull up on side them, fire, and hit him and everybody else, and he the only one that lived to tell the story, what is he going to do? Are we expecting him now to come out and say, oh man, this street shit, man, we need to stop this shit? Fuck no. He going to keep on going because he had already detached himself emotionally from them friends. This is more what I try to speak to y'all about, about uh, you not going to realize that the nigga next to you is not really about this street shit until it's too late. That nigga's not about this shit. That nigga damn sure don't give a fuck about you. He care about you now because you got the blunt and he waiting on you to pass that motherfucker. That's all that matters. Two fingers. Let me get that for you. That's how much he give a fuck about you because if he gave a fuck about you, he he would be he would be up fucking set that you were smoking a blunt. You know what I'm saying? Think about that. If you saw your mama smoking a blunt, but a lot of y'all are used to that. If you saw your mama smoking crack, but a lot of y'all are used to that. If you actually felt, if you actually care for someone, your child, your two-year-old child is smoking a blunt. Your five-year-old has a, a gun in his hand. Are you going to laugh about it and pull out your camera? Or are you going to whoop that child ass? Like, what the fuck are you doing? You don't allow your child to run around with scissors in their hand because you know they can get hurt. You care about them. So how in the fuck is you going to allow a nigga that you care about and you love to be right here with you, but he popping pills every day? He run around, you know what I'm saying, out here in the street doing shit that can get him killed or put in prison for a very long time. You can say I can't control him, but you can't if you can't love what you can't control. Understand what I just said. You can't love what you can't control. I'm going to talk to you a little bit. 
I'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit today. If y'all got time. If y'all ain't got no time, you let me know how I turn this shit off. You can't love nothing that you can't control. So what's going on here is, as your child that you've had, it's your child, you, you're happy with the mother. This is your child, you've had this child. Uh, if she needs to go to bed, you tell her to go to bed. You are totally in control of when she eats, when she goes to sleep, when she wake up, everything she does, you're fully in control. You will. Ne you are not going to let any harm come to that child. That child smiling is everything to you. Just like me with the with the dogs. The love I have for them is because I'm in I'm in full control. I'm totally responsible for everything that happens with them. I'm all the way in control. But that's why I can discipline them. Also, the same thing with your child. If you care about your child, you'll discipline that child. All that screaming and cussing. See, a lot of you ghetto bitches are thinking that you. Screaming at the child and cussing the child out is helping. You can give the child nice words or say nothing and give a. All right now. All right now. That's all you got to give them. You degrading that child verbally is putting a whole diaspora and spirit onto that child, a whole energy onto that child to where that is what that child is used to. And then you'll be confused when you hear that child cussing or when you. Uh, he, uh, see that child having some of the same characteristics that the people in the street have and you'll wonder where that came from. And I then ask you, do you remember the most traumatic time that you had in your life? And you will remember. You'll remember that shit like it was yesterday because of how traumatic it was. You'll remember everything about it, but that's how the brain works. So if you scare that child and you bring that negativity, that negative spirit onto that child, that child is going to remember that forever, forever and ever. And that's going to be uh, embedded and in, in, embroidered in that child's mind. And that's what that child is going to remember. Now, you can put a whooping on that child and then you, you, you whoop that child and then the child, all right, I'm not going to do that because I know what happened there. But when you are putting these, you stupid motherfucker, get your motherfucking ass in that goddamn room, you stupid, like the way I talk to the dog. If you are talking to your child the way I talk to my fucking dogs, then there's an issue there. But see, this is what we get now. Because there's no way I can talk about this young and age situation without talking about where that came from. I can cut the limbs off a tree all day long. But if I have an issue with the limbs growing every fucking week, I need to cut the tree down. And not from the fucking middle. I need to pull the tree up from the fucking root. That's where the issue is. So now let's go to the root of the fucking issue. But before we go there, because I'm not trying to go down that road, because y'all motherfuckers just swear to God that I'm just so fucked up about motherfuckers. Fuck that shit. Let's get to the root of it. The reason why these niggas is riding around four deep and finna get, all right, you ride around four deep, you either finna kill somebody or you finna get killed. The reason why Young and Ace is going to keep pushing after this shit and not change a thing about himself is because this is all the fuck he knows. Whose fault is that? It's not the system fault. It's not the school fault. It's not the environment's fault for being the fucking environment. Because that environment was just like that before Young and Ace came around. Whose fault is that? Who had the choice? Who put him there? If we don't change, I'm going to make a fucking video and I don't give a fuck what you think about it. If we don't change what the fuck we got going on in our community, this shit is going to continue. I got to do a whole nother story about the motherfucker that killed Zach, not, or set Zach up, now he dead. And I think that they set that boy up. But I'm going to tell you about that. This is what we do. We kill each other. But we know that we're killing each other. So it's hard to blame the shit on the system when we know that we in the system. It's hard to tell a motherfucker, all right, look, uh, the rest of the game cheating or whatever like that. So, um, so yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just keep doing what you're doing. No, no. The refs are crooked, so now we need to fix the way we playing. Either we not going to play the game no more, or we going to come up with a devise a fucking plan. 
At some point, we gotta change something though. We hear it. I right, look. If, if, if something going on, whatever like that, they put crack now. Uh, they, they put crack on top of us in the '80s. They gave us crack and they gave us guns. You know what I'm saying? They they made welfare not for us, but for the white folks, and we just got on that shit. But they made child support in welfare section eight so that they can get the man out of the household and child support so they can keep the man in jail. They both of those, those are sister programs. What they're trying to do is keep the fathers away from their children because they know that a father makes the household. That's a disciplinary. And if you don't have a father, you're going to be more prone to not understanding what authority is. And all you see every day is your mother being who the fuck she is. So you grew up thinking that that's the normal way of acting to where you do that shit as a man. You do that shit and you get gunned the fuck down. I'm about to do another story about a white family in Baltimore who not only fought the police, but choked the goddamn police officer out, but and still was brought down, the whole family was brought down, three folks, mother, uh, father, and son was brought to the goddamn um, uh, booking alive. A nigga can't even raise his fucking voice. But we all know this. We know that the... Um, uh, society is scared of us. So how are we still going out here acting as if, no, ah, we need to be treated equal. It doesn't work like that. We have to adjust the way we plan. The reason why they said that niggas can't be quarterbacks is because they not going to be able to think fast enough to um, act in uh, real time. React to a real time situation, seeing the blitz. You know what I'm saying? Seeing what the safety doing, how the linebacker's moving. All right. Omaha, Omaha. Audibles. We have to pull an audible at some point. I'm not telling my, hey, everybody join hands and shit like that. All I'm saying is, we are being attacked on all fronts. This Bullshit that we're talking about right now breaks down to one fucking thing. Us. Us. Black men. Black men. The bitches are not going to do it for us. These hoes is against us just like the white hoes is against us, like the white man is against us. And I had a motherfucker subscriber tell me he going to unsubscribe because I keep saying white man. Hey, my nigga, let me tell you what just happened with Young and Ace. The reason why Young and Ace, the, the motherfucker that gave Young and Ace a record deal, knowing that he couldn't rap, knowing that he was retarded, is because they wanted him to be an example of what they want. At Taco Bell or any fucking restaurant you go to, the motherfucker that's at the register pretty much is an example of who else is in the store. If you go to Checkers, you're going to have a black fat bitch right there. That lets you know, you know what I'm saying, what you're getting. You know what you're getting when you go to Checkers. When you go to Chick-fil-A, they got the teenage white girl in the North Face uh, jacket and shit like that. How, welcome to Chick-fil-A. Can't get you a lemonade. Whenever a nigga walk in the door, they like push the button and shit like that. Folks come out the back, security, police officer, all kind of shit going on. What they're doing, the motherfucker that hired Young Ace, because that's how you got to look at the record label owners, they hired him because he represents what they want more of. All of the big record labels, they put folks like 6 9 Cardi B, Code 8 Black, Bobby Schmurder. Motherfuckers that they have vetted already, that they know have no... They don't, they're not hive-minded, meaning they're not trying to help the race. How many times do you hear about a record label actually pushing? Why the fuck they didn't push uh, your homegirl um, Tink? Why they didn't push Tink? Tink is a female rapper that has so much fucking talent. You know what I'm saying? She was telling girls how, she's like the new Lauren Hill, telling girls how not to be thoughts. Do you know that she probably lasted three weeks? The label won't back her. But you put Young and Ace right out front because gold teeth, stupid nigga. That's why it was so easy to enter. That's why Glock 9 and Kodak Black are interchangeable. Because they're the same fucking person in different bodies. That's it. 
I'm not gonna get metaphysical. They're the same fucking person in different bodies. Now let's take that a little bit further. Glock 9, Bobby Smurda, any fucking rapper that you can fucking name, these fucking idiot designer, any one of them. They're all, they all have the same fucking minutes. Like they, they're saying the same shit. They're saying they, they're doing nothing but... They're puppets. They're puppets. They're being spoken through. The record label is speaking to black people, but in order to speak to them, you need a idiot translator. Kill yourselves. And that's what comes out. Kill yourselves. Kill yourselves. Make us money. And what comes out is, hey, by the Glock, what the shot, hey, got a nigga with the motherfucking. I hate black people. Fuck a nigga, kill a nigga like a mother. The white man is superior. I want to be rich like the white folks. So, my man, I, I saw your message and you said that you donated. Understand this, dog. I don't give a fuck who gives the fuck what. If you think that you're going to pay me to say or not say what the fuck needs to be said, you have life fucked up, my nigga. I'm not speaking to aid people who already have the understanding of what's going on out here. Because the niggas who need help is the niggas who've never heard shit like this in this type of way. And they are not going to understand if I say Caucasian, everyone's equal. They need to hear the retarded shit, just like how the motherfucking white man is in this motherfucking puppet back. The puppet that's in my back is somebody who's trying to save motherfuckers. You don't need saving. They do. Young and age them is in a fucking war zone. And if maybe they could have heard what the fucking nigga was saying before, maybe something could have changed. You being selfish. Talk intelligent so that I can understand you and I don't feel and, and I don't feel uncomfortable. My nigga, you don't need help. I'm not doing this for your entertainment. I'm doing this to help motherfuckers. Niggas is dying. Your children are not dying. Ours are. And I, I really hate the fact if you white, you feel uncomfortable here. But at this point in time, niggas is dying. So your, your uncomfortability, your inconvenience is kind of being outweighed here. We have to mobilize. Y'all don't have an issue mobilizing. If, if a black man or a, a group of black men beat on a white woman, you guys have no issue going and helping that white woman out. But if a black woman is being beat on by a group of white men, niggas will sit back and record the shit. We have issues. I appreciate everyone who donates and shows love. But when life is being thrown away, you have four niggas in one, this call, four niggas in this call. None of them graduated from high school. None of them have education, logic, reasoning, skills. So talking in this manner to them is only going to turn them off. They're gonna turn the fucking. They're gonna turn it off. They're gonna turn off the goddamn video and go to the next one when niggas are talking stupid shit. Please, for one second, put your entertainment second and allow some change to happen. Big Fast Podcast, Ayo Canseco. If we could, man, share this video to somebody who may need it. See you in a minute.